Hello, my name is Stephen Chen. I'm a periodontist practicing in Melbourne. The TLX implant provides those practitioners who favor a fully tapered designed implant with the option of a tissue level design. So that instantly expands their uh, treatment possibilities in their practice. And by the same token, those practitioners who have been used to a tissue level design now have a fully tapered design that allows them to place implants in more compromised sites with higher degrees of initial stability. So that in itself will expand their treatment options as well. well I think there's great synergy between the TLX and the BLX implant. Uh, from a surgical point of view, it's very rational because it uses the same surgical instrumentation and with minimal addition to the inventory, one can switch between the TLX and the BLX implant in, in a very simple way. When you are placing an implant, either TLX or BLX, from the bone management perspective, it's identical. And really only then you have to think about the restorative platform. And so the decision as to whether to go with a TLX or a BLX implant can then be uh, directed at what the final restorative protocol is going to be. And very often they're interchangeable between the two, but there are obviously clinical situations where a bone level design would be preferred over a tissue level design. But from the bone management point of view, it's identical between the two implants. I've had uh, overall very positive experiences with the TLX implant and what I really like from a surgical perspective is the rational and systematic uh, drilling system. It's simplified a minimum number of surgical instruments and drills that need to be used and uh, it still provides the practitioner with the, with the ability to decide on the final dimensions depending upon the underlying bone density. So rational, simplified and yet fully flexible.